Oh no, especially for your the work you're doing and right I'm, now. I'm, I'm really an amateur at, um, yeah. at producing music. Right. Um, I like to play, and I play a lot of different instruments and this and that. But mm -hmm. as far as being a producer, I'm not much uh, of an engineer. Right. But honestly, uh, for what I'm, my capabilities, it, it came together really nicely, and I had some help from some others. So yeah, it just helped help. help. Uh, came in handy and, and uh, God, made off, so. God made this happen. God made this happen. It's like this network, you know. I nothing. I I didn't want to get into broadcasting, but I just felt like you know God's kind of put me into this position here to do this. So I figured I'll I'll see what you know. It's been ten years now. It's actually been ten years since uh, since we we were first on the air and our first. First time being on the air was a BP spill, and that was ten years ago. Oh yeah, huh. you know I, I believe I was on the on your interview by you about that time. Maybe yep. it's eight or ten years ago. I yep. can't remember exactly. Yeah, exactly the same day. I was on spend my time. And yeah, it was exactly the same. It was the same day because I was my first year of being on the air. I had Pamela Gorman. I had you. And then I had um, uh, the one of the first responders at the, at the BP spill. They said they had a SWAT team come in there on the uh, on the on the uh, where the oil rig was. A SWAT team. Somebody put you know they revealed it right on his network. He talked about that right on the air with me. It was a it was a whistleblower by the way, a whistleblower. He said we just I just want you know I got a live video. Um, amateur video of a SWAT team coming on the uh, on our oil rig right now, and our oil rig is on fire. I mean, uh, and I it was uh, it was a loaded day. It was fully loaded that day. Or we were, we were um, I had you on earlier. I had Pam McGore in the afternoon, and then the oil rig happened that night, and then that's when old chaos happens. Like, wow. uh, uh, wow. so I was. Bring the chaos. <laughs> yeah, but I'm telling you, we 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 did exactly what we're doing right now. Talk about the guests. We treat them. We open, like again, open doors. Uh, people have information for us. We let them speak without my political or personal opinion. You can't do that's not. I'm not a journalist, folks. I am a news reporter. Okay, I am a news reporter. I'm not a journalist. I don't want to use the word journalist because there's no journalism anymore in this country. There is not. There's no no free journalism anymore in this country. There isn't. There isn't. Yeah, it seems to be scripted. Yeah, by teleprompters. Yeah. But I, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> you did like I said. I said that in the song. You hear all these rumors and this, different things coming. Right. And you never, you're not sure what to believe. Right. Uh, you know, they're passing uh, ordinances now telling people they have to wear masks. Yeah. On, on one hand, they said they have to wear masks mm -hmm. to work, and then they come out the next day and say, don't wear masks. Right. And the CDC put out information that said, if you're healthy, don't wear masks. Because right. it could cause other issues. Right. And the people that need to wear masks are the ones that are sick. Uh, and I was reading about that today, and yet... Uh, the governor of Ohio said they wanted to make masks. Uh, they strongly urged everyone that went to work to wear a mask. So, and originally they said they had to, and then they came out the next day and said, "Now mm -hmm. we're just gonna we're gonna strongly urge that you wear a mask." But the CDC put out information that if you're healthy, don't wear a mask. So, yeah. so it, it's hard to. It's really I hate I don't want to get political or into politics about it. Right. It's really hard. To, if you listen to the experts, uh, to know exactly who are the experts exactly, who are the experts, and what are you supposed to do? Right. And so, so it, you know, it's it's a really strange time we're living through. Right. And I really think that, like I said in the song, we all got to come together. Because um, united we stand, divided we fall. Right. If we don't, if we don't work together to find the truth, to find the answers, to get the the vaccine or the cure or, or whatever we need to uh, to move beyond this, uh, then we're going to fall. Right. And uh, we don't want that to happen. So the countries got to come together, work together, 
you know, listen to each other on what they've discovered, studying mm. stuff, and uh, and be open minded enough to try to listen to each other and hopefully come up with what's going to cure this, what's going to get rid of this virus, wherever it came from, yeah. and uh, and uh, and then we can go back. Normal. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> it's cool. As normal as that's gonna be. Yeah, I know this pretty cool video what you did here. I was just saying it's pretty cool video what you put together here. One of the, this is probably the one of the best songs you ever recorded though. It probably is the best song you ever recorded. Oh, thank you, Mark. I, I think it is. Mm. Uh, and hopefully people will listen to it. Hopefully people buy it. Hopefully people will uh, download it. Get the message. Get the message that we're trying to. To send with the song, and mm. um, you know, I just I hope they enjoy it. Hope they yeah. <laughs> hope they like the song. You know, right. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable what you did in three, in three weeks' time. It's pretty cool, actually. So that's probably you know, it's not as the quickest tree a straight brown shop, but he, but you then he just recorded a song, and but he didn't do any videos at all. You actually did actually did a music video here, so. For you to do that in three weeks, which usually takes about six months to do, um, like it would for um, uh, Taylor Swift, she did six months of work on that video. We put this together in three weeks. That's pretty remarkable, really, to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like I said, I think it was, the song was uh, inspired by, you know, what's going on out right. here in the yeah. world. And... Uh, Calvin's a really good writer, and he came mm -hmm. up with the, the balance of the song. And, Pretty cool. And, um, you know, we recorded it. We started recording it within probably about three or four days of me mm -hmm. sending it to him. And we got guitar parts, and we sent it to another fellow to put a keyboard part on it. Mm -hmm. And he sent me a couple of different takes of that coming back and forth, and we wrestled around with what guitar sounds we wanted to have and I put mm -hmm. some more guitar parts on it and we uh, you know I sang some harmonies mm -hmm. and uh, you know and then we we ended up uh, getting it put together pretty quickly mm -hmm. and um, and then again I, I, I had asked people during that time to start sending me pictures of their current situations yeah. you know with uh, what's, what they're dealing with, COVID virus and the you know, stay-at-home orders and this and that. And people sent me, you know, empty empty store shelves and empty highways and roads. And, you know, uh, it's just pretty amazing how it all came together. And when mm -hmm. I sent that stuff to Joseph, called Joseph and said, can you put a video together for me? Mm -hmm. And I'll send you the pictures and within a couple of days, he sent it back to me complete. He said, this is my first take, and hopefully it's good. Mm -hmm. I, I thought, it's not good, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up using it and put, putting it together with the music, and here we are, so, and mm -hmm. I made it to you. 